Hi there and welcome to another one of our vlogs. This time we're here at Sea Life in Manchester. This Sea Life is the Manchester one, so it's located inside of the Trafford Centre. And considering mm. we live so close, we've never been up before. No, it's always been a bit too expensive, but we've got the Merlin passes. <laughs> so let's uh, go inside and take you along with us. Today, we will come face to fin with over 2,000 creatures from the underwater world at Sea Life Manchester. There are 12 sea life centres across the UK, all of which are unique and individual in their offerings. The Manchester attraction, which is located in the Trafford Centre, holds different events throughout the year, including Jurassic Seas, After Hours with the Mermaids, and the one that we are attending today, Turtle Rescue. We were about to encounter sharks, clownfish, turtles, Japanese spider crabs, rays, and more as we journey through the various aquarium zones at Sea Life Manchester. Right then, so that was the introduction to the experience. What a great little pre-show there with some fantastic projection mapping as well. It was all about the turtles and how they have become an endangered species. They've got two of them in here, so we hope to look out for them. It was very, very well done that. Very informative, uh, short and snappy, to the point, educational, and again, great projection mapping. So, on with sea life manchester so this is the entrance to sea life you come through a bit about turtles where they've got like a little projection map in stage show and then you come into this section where there are some funky shaped aquariums this one's in the shape of a great big fish bowl here's an octopus it says on the tank that it's a lesser octopus i think that's a bit harsh looks like a good enough octopus for me Well, what's going on over there? Those things are live? Yeah. Well, like one of them on my leg when I come out of the ocean, would you? Not a chance. You enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. I didn't realise how themed the old place will be. If you just take a look around, it's literally like we're in a, in a ship underground. Yeah. The whole place is thoroughly themed. I did not expect it to be themed to such a high degree. Just imagine a few fish tanks. Um, no, yeah, it's the most interesting aquarium to walk around that I've ever been in. No, it's in this one. And sharks. It's amazing how you just like feel like you stood in the water, doesn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't it? What's your favourite fish so far? Mine's that shark, I'm not even gonna lie. Look at them, look at their mouths, they're so sick. There's a turtle. Can you see it? It's there. 
a turtle, that bird. It's not a shark. It is. No. Hey jellyfish. Been stung by one before, they are not nice. The size of their tentacles, oh my god. Yeah, when you've uh, got, with the jellyfish tank, you've got these buttons where you can actually change the colour. So that's really cool. I've just found out that puffer fish have to cut their, their teeth like rabbits and so they just keep growing so they have to chew on rocks to, to blunt or sharpen their teeth. Amazing. I just accidentally head back that piece of glass. I didn't realize, because of the shape of it, I didn't realize where it started. So I tried to lock down and I just head by it. <laughs> and here's a look at the clown fish. Most famous for the Disney movie, Finding Nemo. And now we're going to walk through the tunnel. There's Sean mesmerized by the fish in the tunnel. And there is a lot of information around in this place, so it's a really educational experience as well. It's not just about coming to look at the fish, you can also learn something while you're here. And this is the most themed um, aquarium centre that I've ever been to. Every single sea life does have a different theme or attractions inside of it for you to visit. So considering this is just one of about seven in England, I can only imagine how good the other ones are as well. And hopefully we should get to visit them throughout the year. Definitely will. As I was saying, there's information everywhere in this place, all on the walls, the screens that tell you many different things. And over here, we've got a VR experience. Seven pounds per person. Annual pass holders, five pounds per person. So you get a two pound discount there. So Sean's gonna have a go on the VR experience. It's five pounds per person on the annual pass holders. And there is a choice of four different experiences. Legend of Luska, five minutes. Is the shark dive at six minutes, drift at six and a half, or swimming with humpbacks at six minutes. So they're all on average about six minutes each, which is good for the money, but it depends on which experience you would prefer to do. Which one are you thinking then, Sean? Yeah, humpback one. Humpback one? All right then. And here he is getting fitted into the seat. Swimming with the humpback whales. 
one of the most mysterious creatures on the planet. Apparently this is the first time that they have ever been captured for the purposes of VR. It's a six minute experience in total. The seat smooth along with the video to give you that true VR experience. It's doing some quite a bit of motion, know that. I'm sure he'll give us his review when he gets off. The footage was amazing. Um, like obviously, you know how VR works, you can look around and everything. It wasn't as good quality, like it wasn't like as HD as like, you know, like tellies can be these days. Yeah. But like it was really clear and like it was really cool to get to like follow this humpback whale. It was sort of like trying to find, they were trying to find a baby humpback whale basically and they ended up finding one uh, by following a group of males who were trying to mate with a female and then they found like a load of uh, mums and their babies so that was really cool yeah. it was only like six, five six minutes long um, and the sound wasn't working in the right ear properly so I'd give the overall experience like a six out of ten but it's got potential to be a lot better if they just got the sound working properly because you couldn't imagine yeah that's disappointing properly. yeah it's supposed yeah. to be immersive but it did look like it was giving a lot of motion and movement yeah, yeah. on those chairs definitely the chair was moving you, you felt like the you were like on a plane. Like, like I said, it would, would have been really a lot better if the sound was working. Here's a good bit of advice. Terrapins are small when young and cheap to buy. However, they don't stay small forever. So think carefully before buying one as a pet. Look at the size of that monster. Bigger than a dog. Literally, it's bigger than a dog. <laughs> Are you scared? No, I just don't want to get the sleeves all wet. Very rough. Feels rough. It's like stroking a brick wall. Really? Yeah. How long did it take? An hour. And then, hour. Yeah, it took us an hour to get through and we exit through the gift shop. Full review incoming. It was really good, wasn't it, Axel, to be honest? It was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, 
I was never really into aquariums when I was a kid, but now as an adult, I feel like I'm a bit more excited by them. Seeing all these giant fish and different species and learning all these fun little facts out about them, it was really cool. I thought the whole thing was quite well themed as well. Uh, so yeah. that made it a bit more it interesting. Was majorly themed inside, which mm. was one of my biggest uh, things I enjoyed about the whole thing. Obviously seeing all the fish as well. The aquariums were massive. It feels like the fish have got a lot of room. They all look like they're healthy. They all look like they, they treat well. Yeah. Um, and the place was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, to be yeah. honest. A lot bigger. Considering it's inside the Trafford Centre as well, I thought it was going to be smaller than what it was. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a bit naff, but it wasn't. Definitely worth uh, go in if you've got a Merlin Pass. I don't know how much it is on the door, actually. Well, without a Merlin Pass, I think it's like 28 quid each. Okay, yeah, no. Each, which is why we've never been before. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously we've got our Merlin Passes now, and it is worth it as part of that. One, to get your money worth in the Merlin Pass, yeah. and two, because it, it is good. I just think at £28, that's a bit too expensive. It's a bit steep, yeah. It's a bit steep. I mean, altogether, we did spend like an hour in there and we didn't rush. No, um, yeah. You probably could spend a bit longer in there, maybe an Especially hour and a half kids. if you're going to be reading every single thing and taking it all in properly. Yeah, yeah. You definitely could spend longer in there. It is a good few hours. I, I enjoyed it. It's a good, it's not a day out, but it's a good half a day out. Um, it's a good thing to do in a day exactly if you've got a day off go to the aquarium if you're into fish it just makes me intrigued to see what the rest of them are like because obviously every one around the uk is themed differently and they all are different they don't have the same exhibitions in each one so yeah. it intrigues me to see what the other ones are like i've been axel and i'm sean if you liked what you see please do give us a thumbs up and if you've enjoyed our content so far, then give us a subscribe. Every little helps. And if you've got anything you'd like to say, leave something in the comment section down below. On that note, we will see you in another video.